Hey, your friends ditch you. Um, hi, random guy. Really focusing on a mystery reminds me of the old days. Oh, looks like it's about time for... INCREDIBLY AWKWARD BACKSTORY! So for reasons that reek of writer's convenience, Vilma decides to tell a random guy about her past with the Scooby Gang. And oh, 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 oh crap. Scrappy Deppy Doo! Ready. Ghosts don't stand a chance with me! Let me at him! I'll rock him! I'll suck him! If there is one thing that I hate more than Scooby Doo, it's Scrappy Fucking Doo! That annoying, irritating, worthless windbag! And it's not just me! People who actually like Scooby Doo still hate Scrappy! For example, Tim Curry, who is a huge Scooby-Doo fan, and agreed to play Anton Monteverius in this movie, but dropped out when he found out that Scrappy was in it. Scrappy, for the thousandth time, there's no such thing as ghosts. Sure there are! And when I find them, I'll give them a good dose of puppy power! Ta-da! Oh god, he's peeing on me! Did he just take a piss on Sarah Michelle Gellar? Whoa, 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 I don't have any time for another sentimental flashback. I have to stay on track. So at that very moment, shitty looking CG rabbit demons attack the hotel lobby. And as it turns out, they need human hosts so they can survive in our world, as they are vulnerable to sunlight. Daphne, Fred, and Velma get taken over, so it's up to Shaggy to get their souls back. We need our bodies to survive in sunlight, like a human suit. SPF 1 million. Whoa! Velma's got some really big clues for to solve the mystery with. They're firm. Unfortunately, while rescuing the souls of the others and avoiding henchmen, Scooby gets kidnapped. Well, at least everybody's soul's in the right place. Daphne, you okay? Yeah. But I'm not Daphne! Fred? Hey, I can look at myself naked. Oh, brother. Um, well, I can't honestly say that if I found myself in the same type of situation, that I wouldn't make the same perverted observation. However, and here's my real issue with this, THIS IS A KID'S MOVIE! So after a few more pointless body swaps, the gang is back to normal. And now they must put their differences aside to save Scooby and solve the mystery. We gotta like go save Scoob! Shag, our area of expertise is nut jobs and Halloween costumes. Well, we're supposed to be heroes, man. So I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna eat myself a Scooby snack, and I'm gonna save my best pal. Wow, I don't know about you, but I learned a very important lesson in teamwork. And so, Joanna Man explains to them that this was all an elaborate scheme by Monteverius to lure Scooby to the island so he can steal his pure soul to complete a ritual that will turn him into a pure demon. Hmm. I know that I already said this earlier, but it bears repeating. WTF, mofo, if all you needed was Scooby's soul, then what the hell was the point of dragging the rest of the Scooby gang there? So they could foil your plans faster? And that's why I've got a very important job for you. What's that? That's a cat with a bobbing head. Please don't touch it. Rowan, did you lose a bet? So Vilma has a plan to lower a skull-shaped disco ball into the cave where the demons live so sunlight will bounce off the disco ball and kill all the demons. When suddenly... Senorita... Oh, no, 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 I'm not gonna get excited over this. I know that Daphne spent the last two years learning martial arts and that Sarah Michelle Gellar's a bona fide badass, but this movie's gonna find a way to fuck it up. <laughs>
come from? I don't even smoke. I guess that's the power of SMG. You know, I find it kind of funny that a movie that is based on a cartoon that was supposed to be appropriate for children and counteract all the violent programming is stocked full with fart jokes, drug references, perverse humor, and fighting sequences. So Scooby's soul is saved and wait a minute, Monteveris was someone in disguise? Who could it be? Huh, I have to admit I didn't see that coming. But if he's a robot, then who's controlling the robot? Puppy power! What? Scrappy? Scrappy fucking do was the bad guy? He was the mastermind behind this whole plot? The one character in this movie that had less screen time than Pamela Anderson! Oh, and look, he had enough soul power to turn into a demon anyway. So that gives him even less reason to invite the Scooby Gang and Scooby-Doo over to his secret headquarters. You fucking idiot! <sighs> Could somebody please just effortlessly defeat him already? Uh, like, dude, what? You're a bad fucking- <laughs> God, I hate you, Scrappy. Somebody, please? Come on, I can still take you. Put him up, you mangy mutt. Oh, oh. Thank you. Somebody give him another Scooby snack. Here you go. Right you. Oh, thank you. Um, hi, random guy. So the mystery is solved. The gang is back together again, and I would probably be very calm right now if it wasn't for those meddling kids and that stupid fucking dog. Both of them! I don't know how much longer I can hold out. These movies are horrible. I better act now while I still have my powers and can actually help Nerdlinger. You naughty little noodle. You're not supposed to come here without an invitation. Shut your hole, you delusional, demented demon. I'm not reviewing any of your stupid movies anymore. So how about you let Nerdlinger go, and I won't hurt you. Boy, I was there when pain was invented. So let me give you a fair warning. You are trifling with forces here you can't possibly defeat. Let me give you a fair warning. I know Venusian Karate, which is very effective. For kicking your ass! He wants you in one piece. <laughs> Who? Oh, he has many names. But I believe you know him as the Hooded Man. Check out my website, suckers! Yeah.